Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to manage Amazon browsing history. This is the updated version I did last week. I did a video on how to do this on the Amazon app. And this week I'm going to show you how to do it on the website. Now the website didn't change a lot, but they did move the browsing history link. So I wanted to make sure to go over it one more time since I've done this before to make sure you guys know where the new spot is. So, but before we get going, uh, make sure you hit the like on this video. It really helps on our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos we come out with every week. One a week, always Thursday. If I can get two in one day, maybe I'll do that. But right now you're getting one a week, so always check back every week. Okay. So how do you do that on Amazon.com? First thing you want to do is go to Amazon.com. Very simple. Once you're on Amazon, log into your account, which you know you do it right up here. So once you're up there, um, and log in, sign into your account. Once you're signed in, then go back over to the hello, your name right here. Hover your mouse over there and then go down to browsing history. Pretty simple. It was before at the top line here. This top line used to have it but they decided to put it under the menu which is fine so we're going to go here and we're going to we're going to click on browsing history and then once you do that this is your browsing history screen for everything you've been looking at lately as you can see i've been shopping for christmas stuff so that's what i've been working on um, and then if you want to manage this you're going to go to the left side of the screen at the top you're going to see manage history we're going to click the little down arrow next to that and then that opens up this little bar right here what gives you a couple options you have remove all items from view so this would basically clear the entire browsing history you have so if you're trying to like do christmas shopping you can clear the whole list so no one knows what you've been looking at especially if you share an account with your um your spouse or something like that or your significant other and you're like well i don't know i don't want them seeing it so you can clear it that way um you can also go to each item so let's say you go to your first item here and you just want to remove it so let's say you've been looking at one item you just want to remove it you can remove it the single item just by going down below the item and under the price and say remove from view remove from view so I'm gonna remove this one from view right here so I click on that it's gone now it's no longer on my browsing history so no one knows I looked at it which is always good <laughs> well sometimes it's good all right but then there's another option instead of removing all of them or removing one by one which you can do right there you can turn browsing history off so it never does it so right here it says when you turn your browsing history off we will not show new items you click on or searches you make on this browser. And yes, that's right. You have to do it on each individual browser. So make sure you do that. So if it's on your phone, you got to do it, do the same process. You're going to do this on any computer. You have to, it's a different browser, so you have to change it. Um, so, so it was says new items you click on the search, you know, or searches will not be shown in this browser to remove existing items from view select remove from view and that's what we just did down below and then um, on each item or remove all items from view to remove all items shown which is at the button right up here so remove single or remove all you can turn this off and then no one's gonna see what you've done so if I turn this off it's gonna not show this anymore so you recently view won't sh it, no more new ones will show up these still will be on here, so FYI, <laughs> these will still be here even if you click that off, but no new ones will show up. But I like to have mine on. I like to see what I've been looking at because that's what I am. So that's it. That's how easy it is to do it on your website. So go to Amazon.com. You come here, you do this, find the browsing under your menu up here, go to browsing history, and then you can manage it this way. It's pretty easy. So the main ones are remove it all or remove one at a time or just turn it off altogether so you don't have any history of your amazon searching so that's how you do it guys thanks for watching make sure you hit the like the subscribe and hit the notification bell thanks make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching